Hello friends, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're gonna be going over some print comparisons. Um, I'm testing out three major labs prints, comparing them side by side, and I'm also gonna be comparing them to my screen. I'm gonna walk you through uh, the process I went through, some of the notes I took, and uh, yeah, jump right in. So the reason for this video in the first place is that I'm relaunching my print store and I'm trying to take a more hands-on approach to how my prints are delivered to my clients. Um, I actually just switched over to pick time. Um, I've been bouncing around the last 10 years to different print providers, gallery providers. Um, pick time kind of is doing some new interesting things. So I'm gonna go through the three main labs that they use uh, for fulfillment in the United States. That's Bay Photo, WHCC, White House Custom Color, and Richards Photo Lab. They're all top tier labs. They all have great reputations, but I just wanted to see side by side comparisons to see which one I'm ultimately going to go with for providing prints for A, my clients and B, just to sell prints in my personal print store. So really the first thing you want to do before you start printing your photos is calibrating your screen. That's going to be imperative to making sure that the colors you're seeing on your screen come out well from the lab. Um, couple manufacturers I suggest is Datacolor and X-Rite. They both make really great calibrators. Um, I use an X-Rite here and I know I've used Datacolor in the past. So working in the print lab at SUU, I really found that the screens can go out of calibration within a month. Like you can see the difference from a, the calibrated screen to what you just calibrated it from and it's pretty drastic like sometimes sometimes the screens don't hold a calibration very well i don't know why but it's important when you're working on critical work that you calibrate it before you start so what i did was calibrated my screen first edited all the photos from iceland that i was going to use made sure they looked great to my eye made sure i didn't have any gamut warnings for print all that stuff so once i saved out those files ordered my prints Prints came in, it's been a couple of months uh, before I could get around to doing this. So I recalibrated my screen today before I started this comparison. Cause I wanted to compare them side by side to each other. And then I also wanted to compare the prints to the screen to see how well my calibrator was calibrated to their print calibration and how well they match my screen. Cause that's this color. Cause that's the color I'm gonna use. So today I'm actually gonna take a look at two different products. Um, one is three 16 by 20 prints, for one from each of the print labs. And they're just a standard luster print uh, with no color correction. So the no color correction option is super important because if you don't check that, then they're gonna try to color correct it and then it's gonna throw the accuracy test off. If you wanted to check their color calibration on the side, also like just do a run of their color correction to see how that works. But if your calibrated screen and the colors look how you want them to look, make sure you're not letting them color balance your stuff. So I'm gonna read you guys some of the notes that I made for these prints. Um, some of the things that I'm like grading them on. <clears throat> so some of the things I'm grading the labs on is the packaging, how fast it arrives, how well it arrived, um, the color, the sharpness, and just the overall quality. So um, starting with White House Custom Color, their packaging is always A+. It comes uh, bundled up, wrapped in plastic, taped down. Um, it's always flat between two pieces of cardboard in plastic. Um, their shipping's always super quick, two days shipping, uh, arrived within two days, and bonus, there's always a sucker in there. Um, the color uh, on this one was uh, the warmer, warmer than the other two, um, probably the most warm, a little duller than the screen, and definitely warmer than the screen. Um, it was definitely pretty sharp, and the overall quality was pretty good. Um, their stuff is usually pretty consistent. There was a little bit of white left on the edge of the print, but if you're gonna frame it up or put it in a mat, then you're never gonna see it anyways, so that's really not a big deal. Um, pretty consistent how the, with how I've experienced them in the past. Uh, Richards, the packaging was great. Um, it actually shipped in a shipping tube, which is, I think, sometimes can be more protective than any of the other shipping options. Um, it was wrapped in plastic and then bubble wrap on the top and bottom to make sure that nothing happened when it was sliding around in the tube. Uh, it arrived in two days. Um, one thing with the, the like, if one thing with tube sh packaging is that it's gonna cause the print to curl and that can cause kind of a pain if you're trying to like mount or frame your prints, it can be kind of a pain if the print's rolling up on you. But the 
the tubes are generally safer, less uh, have to be crushed uh, in shipping, but I don't know like how that shipping cost differs. Um, so always like the, the tubes, I've, I've never had a problem receiving anything in a tube. Color was the, uh, the lightest shadows of all three, a uh, little bit duller and warmer than the screen, but it was the closest to the screen color. Um, it was the least sharp, so I don't know if that's something to do with their printer needs calibrated or it's just their prints are a little softer. Um, if you step back a little, it's hard to tell, but it was the least sharp. The overall quality was great. Um, Looking at Bay Photo, their stuff actually arrived after six days, so it was the slowest. Um, it arrived similarly to White House Custom Color, but it wasn't sandwiched between two pieces of cardboard. It was just a piece of cardboard taped, or in the plastic, taped to a piece of cardboard inside another box. So uh, White House's was a little safer uh, than Bay Photo's, but I think Bay Photo's was the cheapest. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on that, because I'll go through the pricing in a bit. Um, it was wrapped tightly in plastic, which can be kind of hard to undo without a knife. So if your client doesn't have a knife, then um, they may bend the print when they're trying to get it out. So it's just important that they um, use a knife to get that tape off because it's not this soft tape or the artist tape that White House Custom Color uses. Um, the, the color is very similar to White House, a little warm, similar in sharpness, um, but a little warmer than Richard's. Um, then I also tested some fine art prints, which you'll see here, um, two smaller ones because they're pretty expensive to print. Uh, both of the labs I used were Richard's Photo Lab and Bay Photo. Um, both of them arrived in protected cardboard mailers, um, and they're both amazing quality. Honestly, like hard to tell the difference here. Um, I think Bay Photo has more options, but uh, they're both super high quality prints, like their fine art prints are amazing to see. They're matte, they're printed on really cool papers. Um, you could spend a fortune testing all the different papers. I think some of them offer like paper samplers so you can kind of see them all. Um, I just picked the default for both. Uh, I do like Richard's default paper a little better. It feels better in the hand, but I mean like you're really not gonna hold them, you're gonna mount them, so they both look pretty great. Um, we'll take a look at the pricing on that afterwards, but they're, uh, they're both super high quality. So for a price comparison, um, the, for the 16 by 20, White House Custom Color was total 1737. Uh, Bay Photo for that same print was 2510. And RPL for the same 16 by 20 print was 17 bucks. So there's the comparison on the prices. Um, for the five by, or for the fine art pieces, I you really can't compare price because they're two different sizes, but they're pretty similar. They're both pretty expensive. Ultimately, I think the decision is going to be a mixed bag for me. I think I'm going to go with Bay Photo for all of the standard prints for clients because they were pretty close to color and the sharpest. And then for the fine art prints, I think I'm going to stick with Richard Photo Lab because they're great. I've always had great luck with them. So I think um, with Bay Photo being having the most options and probably being one of the cheaper of all three. And then Richard being like the highest quality, I'll probably stick with them for fine art stuff. And then uh, Bay Photo is gonna be all client stuff. So it was really fun to get all the prints to see how they all package differently, to see them all side by side with uh, even 5600K light, just to see like how the colors and the sharpness all differed. Um, but ultimately, I, I think that's super important for you to do for your business to see the experience that you're clients get when you a send them photos and b the quality of the photos that you're going to be sending them um, always recommend testing out the lab and the whole customer experience from start to finish um, as a business owner and as a photographer shipping out products to clients um, some people actually prefer to ship all of their products to the studio and then verify that it's exactly what they needed and then shipping it onto the client but that's kind of a that's kind of a pain, especially if you're doing higher volume print stuff. So, um, just verifying occasionally that the lab is doing the best work is kind of the option I take. Um, I don't like to have to reship everything; it gets really expensive to ship things twice. Hope you guys enjoyed the process, kind of going through and seeing which one I thought was the best. Um, ultimately, it's up to you, your decision to order your test prints and make sure that uh, you pick the one that's best for your business. But uh, yeah, super excited to relaunch the print store. Um, 
big things coming. I think we're going to be doing some limited edition fine art prints coming up here. Some stuff from Iceland and Switzerland. So uh, super excited to rebuild all that in pick time. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you stopping by. And if you haven't, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, do all the things down below. Help my channel grow. Thank you.